Hey everybody, how are y'all doing? Um, this is something that some of you messaged me on and I came across it and it's actually something I want to react to because I haven't, I, haven't, I watched like 5-10 seconds and I'm like, oh, this would be interesting. So, here it is. I don't know what's going on, but apparently a lot of fans are actually pissed off at Dave, um, which to me is a surprise because he's always been like the golden beacon for me. You know, he's like basically George Lucas. Um... Or at least the closest thing to George Lucas that we have now. Uh, so we're going to watch it and then uh, we can talk about it and just uh, dialogue, man. Same old same old stuff we always do on the channel. And the idea that he had an apprentice, uh, let alone that it would be a girl. I didn't care. I thought that's a great idea because I didn't want to just make Luke Skywalker again. I wanted a character that had different challenges and could have uh, a different story than Luke. Um, but, you know, and for George it wasn't. I mean, obviously it was his idea. Uh, for fans, this was a very different idea. The general public as a whole are going to look at that and say, why? And we just created this character. And there was this funny assumption by a lot of people, uh, you know, because the older fans are complaining, why is this? You're making it for kids. That's the funniest thing anybody ever says to me. You're making Star Wars for kids. I'm like, yeah. Okay. <laughs> How old were you when you saw Star Wars? And they're, oh, the first time I saw Star Wars, I was seven years old. And my dad took me. And I'm like, uh-huh. And you want to rob this experience from kids today, why? And make it all dark and sinister and evil? Okay, okay, anyway. Um, back to Ahsoka. There's this assumption that um, young girls were gonna like the character of Ahsoka. We relate that, right? Apples to apples. Of course, we make the young girl character, uh, so all the young girls would like Ahsoka. It's almost to say like, but what about the boys? You know, this absurd notion. So what we found was this amazing thing. It will shock none of you, uh, that when you create a strong, independent, intelligent character that shows no fear, that can do amazing things, boys and girls like her. This is what we've tried to do with the Star Wars saga now. We've tried to create more female characters who can represent so many things because what we're trying to do isn't just create uh, one type of character. We're trying to create a diverse range of characters, uh, especially female characters that are strong, that are independent. Uh, when you look at Rey uh, you know, on The Force Awakens, she's a female lead in a whole new chapter of the Star Wars saga. We haven't done a movie for 10 years, and here comes a Star Wars film, and here comes Rey. And it's, what is it? Is it Panic in the Streets? Oh my gosh, a female lead in a Star Wars movie. And then the, the trailer for Rogue One comes out, and it's another female lead. Oh my gosh. How unfair. We've had probably like two million straight film cinematic roles where men have been leads, and now we've done two in a row that are women. Uh, well, too bad. Oh well. <laughs> Maybe there are more coming. I don't know. This is this idea that like, and I run into this sometimes uh, when working with writers, it's like, well, we just made one of those. Made one of what? We just made a female lead. Uh-huh. We can make another one. Really? Yes, we can. There's more than one woman in the world. There's more than one woman here in the world. Why is that so strange? If we made like five men heroes in a row, no one would blink. You know, Ray, she impresses Han Solo. He's like the guy's guy, impresses him, impresses everybody in the audience. She goes up with Kylo Ren. She punks him right away. Like he's supposed to be this great guy, wiped all these people. I don't know. She took that lightsaber and was like, I'm going to take you out. And she did. And I'm all for it. And she looks strong. It's not that she doesn't show any fear. She looks like this is an intense moment in her life and we're there with her because of that because she's a real feeling dimensional person that's what we want a real feeling dimensional person uh, we are trying to create an environment where it's my hope uh, the kind of just like luke all he did was open that door right he just opened that door let leia out and she's went gangbusters so i just want to be a part at lucasfilm of opening this door uh, to a new generation of filmmakers of women that come in to Lucasfilm and can be creative. It's a, it's a strong future for Star Wars. Uh, our, our, our force uh, for women characters, strong women characters, uh, intelligent women characters, characters of all description. Uh, it won't just stop with two movies. It's something we're dedicated to uh, for the foreseeable future because they're just great characters. Thank you so much. Hmm. Okay. Um. I think he's under the, the perception that 
the majority of people think um, maybe dislike Ray or like Ray or whatever, dislike Ray because she's a woman. I, I don't know. At least in my world in Canada, we don't we don't care about that. You know, I, we only care about cool characters. You know, good characters, characters that are dynamic and flexible, and they evolve and they have you know low points and high points, and you know they're not just born perfect because that's not relatable, right? So, what he was talking about regarding Ahsoka, I feel like was very true is because so many men love Ahsoka because she is the epitome of uh, hope and power and working hard and eventually becoming this this you know master pretty much uh, of her trade and I feel like with Ray that was something that never happened so I can't speak for everybody but where Dave is coming from I can't be on board with that when he's talking about you know everyone's mad at um, Ray being a lead and then Jin being a lead it's like I don't I don't care about that like it doesn't matter to me I love Ahsoka I love Mary Jade love all these female ca- Leia all these female characters not because they're female excuse my language but not because of what's between their legs it's because they're cool characters it has nothing to do with their gender you know so for me that was always something that really stuck out is that you know do I connect this character on a mental level is it someone that I would see myself being would I would I act in this certain way would I be like this is this realistic to life and with Ray I feel like a lot of people's um, anger is due to the fact that she's not realistic right no one is born perfect and no one ends perfect right we're all we all we're all flawed people we're all every single one of you all of you in chat the 1200 of you right now we're all flawed flawed people but the journey of life is that we see these flaws in ourselves and we better ourselves and we fix our mistakes and we fix the things that we aren't happy with the things we could do better and this is called evolution this is how we better ourselves as people so for me I never had an issue with Ray because she was a female. I had an issue with Ray because she's like an aimbot. You know, she's like that super rich, privileged kid in school who like gets everything handed to them. No problem. They don't have to work for anything. That's kind of what Ray is like to me. So I don't know where he's coming from. It it almost seems like he's listening to people don't really like understand Star Wars or, 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 or sexist people. And obviously, you know, that's not my issue, right? So, personally, I, I don't I don't see a problem with um, female characters at all. I think it's a good thing. I know that one day, you know, if I do have a daughter, I'd want her to look up to these strong female lead characters, but I'd also want her to take a lesson, and I don't want her to look up to Rey, because Rey is, you know, perfect from the beginning and perfect in the end. There's no character development. There's nothing. And him talking about wanting to be like Luke, where he just, you know, opens the door and, you know, uh, Leia turns into this badass character. That's cool, but Luke did a lot more than that. I don't know. I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know why he's saying that stuff. But then again, you know, he is at a... At a, at a we found this is, is amazing. NCWIT.org is a... Um, I think it's like a... It's a women's... Yeah, I got it right here. The National Center for Women of and Information Technology is the only national nonprofit focused on women's participation in computing across the entire ecosystem, helping more than 1,240 organizations recruit, retrain, and advance women from K-12 in higher education through industry and entrepreneurial careers by providing support, evidence, and action. So that's cool. It seems like a really good cause. But I just feel like, you know, if he's talking at this cause, he doesn't need to brand I feel like the majority of Star Wars fans as um, not being tolerant of you know these female characters because of uh, at least not in my world in my head I never that was never a thing you know it was always just like this character's lame because she's just perfect Jin I had no problem with Jin Jin was cool man Jin was a cool character you know um, look at Cara Dune from Mandalorian she's a badass character she is cool but again, she is flawed in her own sense. She's she's not perfect. She's not an aimbot like Ray is. She's not dare I say again, perfect, right? So that's where I come from on that angle. I wanna know what you guys think in the chat before we end the video here. 
FYI video is from 2016 prior to Last Jedi. Ray still had potential to be good character. He didn't say anything wrong here, in my opinion. No, he didn't say anything wrong, but he just kind of brandished uh, fans as as all being these, you know, sexist pigs. And it's like, that's, I don't know, I don't think that's all Star Wars fans, you know? Um, I think it's just a few of them. It's the minority. This video is from 2016 before The Last Jedi and The Rise of Skywalker. Yeah, so I, either way, it, it makes no difference whether it's from 2016 or not. Hey, from the gaming channel, man, but couldn't agree with you more. It doesn't matter what gender they are, just how their characters are written. They just didn't write her and her story correctly. Yeah, I didn't think so. For me, at least, I don't hate Rey because of her gender. It's because if she's a horribly written character, and I don't think Dave understands that. I don't know if he doesn't understand that. I just don't know. I just don't know. I don't know. I can't speak for him. I don't know. I've never met him, but I have, you know, utmost of respect for him. Um, but I can see a lot of fans are angry at Dave, and I don't think they should be. But I also think that Dave needs to understand that, like, oh, you know, like, not all fans are sexist, you know. It's not really all of us. Ray equals Mary Sue. Oh, yeah, I agree. Thank you for all the content. Been a fan since 2017. Keep it up. Can't wait for the rest of the Vader series. May the Force be with you. Thanks, Tonton. I appreciate your super chat, man. It's really nice of you. Ray never changed. Ahsoka developed so much and is still going to develop. Yeah, that's the thing, man. It's like... Ahsoka went from this Padawan who is like, didn't know anything really, you know, and even being put into the Jedi Temple with all the Jedi around her in like the prime of being a Jedi, um, she was still failing and learning as she was going. But, you know, Rey, who wasn't around really anybody, any teacher or nothing, um, she succeeded. And the part about her, you know, taking this lightsaber and like, you know, beating Kylo, I thought that was garbage. Like, what was that? You know, it didn't make sense to me. So I don't think Disney allowed to Dave say that Ray is a bad character. Well, maybe, but I mean, uh, yeah, I don't. When did he say all fans are sexist, you ass clown? Well, he didn't, but, you know, he's talking about a lot of fans being upset and the outpour of anger um, regarding, you know, Jin being a female and Ray being a female and this and that and that they're going to make more. And that's fine like I have no problem with that you know but um, I want to say that you know not all Star Wars fans are what you see when it comes to the people who just hate they just continuously hate and hate and hate and that's not all Star Wars fans um, it is totally fine to uh, pick something apart and say what you like or don't like but it's another thing to constantly hate on something and I feel like the voices of those who constantly hate sometimes get more of the microphone because they're uh, dare I say louder you can't have a hero if they haven't fallen and experienced humility Ray would have been so much better if she had started a hero's journey like Luke yeah I agree I think George you know really obviously had it nailed down but also the part about Star Wars is for kids yeah George always said it was for kids but also I mean Revenge of the Sith is it was pretty dark, man. You got, like, Dooku decapitated. You got, you know, Anakin burning, his limbs chopped off. It's a pretty dark, dark movie. Um, Empire Strikes Back, you know, his father tries to kill him, sort of. You know, turn him to the dark side and chops off his hand. And it's like, sure, they, you know, they could be for kids, but that's a, there's a fine line between, you know, like a kid's show and, and you know taking someone's head off and their hands off and stuff like that so i don't know i still don't know where i lie on the whole like star wars is for kids thing it's a little bit gray for me a little bit blurry for me i agree those who disagree i don't know what yeah like i'm not saying i'm not saying anything uh about dave i just think I just don't think all fans are what a lot of maybe people high up in Lucasfilm may think. You know, I don't think they're all just a bunch of haters or, or sexist or um, whatever it may be. There's a lot of people who can constructively take something apart without being um, an asshole. <laughs> you know, Dave wouldn't be fired for creative differences if he publicly admitted Dave would have been fired for creative differences if he publicly admitted Dave, uh, Ray was a poorly written character. Look at the first directors for Solo and Episode 9. What, is that what they said? 
Yeah, I feel like I can't speak about disliking Ray without being called a sexist in some sort of Star Wars forum chats. I'm in. Just don't like the character. Yeah, same with me. Iroids. What up, man? Um, yeah. You know, anytime you talk about Ray, it's a very, very heavy topic because people will call you out and they'll be like, oh, you're sexist. You're you're a pig. And it's like, why? I love Ahsoka. It's like, well, it's, it doesn't make sense. Like, you can call me what you want, but, I, I, you know, if I, if I don't like Anakin or something, does that mean I'm sexist in the other sense, that I hate men? It's like, no, maybe I just don't like the character, right? Um, I wasn't a fan of Finn's character. I thought he was a very underutilized character. I thought they could have done so much more with him. But then again, you know, if you say that, then I don't know, something else. So it's like I just want to stick to talking about the characters and deconstructing them from a film story point of view. You know, it has nothing to do with anything, you know, politics or anything outside of that. It's just a character, and that's all it is, right? So half of us will probably end up having daughters here anyways, right? Or maybe even more than half of us. How's my evening? It's pretty chill. About to go on the gaming channel. I'm really curious on your thoughts about this. Do you think it would be more appealing if Ray and and Kylo roles were switched? Uh, no, not for me. Because if Kylo did the same things that Ray did, I'd feel that it's again, it's bullshit. You know, it's like why is he so overpowered? Like this guy's never touched a lightsaber, and here you have this badass Ray who's a Sith or training in the dark side, and he just beats her so easily like it would still be so weird to me and it wouldn't make sense you know you have anakin who is this chosen one with more midichlorians than any other jedi even yoda and yet he fails and he gets his ass kicked every single time that he fights when does he really ever win unless it's like against in the you know, in the comics or something like that but in the movies he goes up against jedi and he always loses so i mean Pretty much. So, I mean, uh, you can't count A New Hope because Obi-Wan committed suicide there, right? Star Wars is for kids. First act, Uncle Owen and Baru skeleton burning. <laughs> yeah. Freddie Prince Jr. likes the smell of his... What? He know knows nothing of Star Wars? He just has a fan hard-on for voicing a garbage character. Also, I love you. Love you too, Dane. I don't know anything about Freddie Prince Jr., man. I just... The only interaction I've had with him uh, is he commented once on a tweet regarding me asking um, why he went off uh, on the whole, uh, that video where he went off on fans or whatever, you know, being mad about, I forgot what it was. He was pissed off about something, but he was just like swearing and so mad. I made a video about it a while ago and it was kind of weird. And he like commented on, on someone else's thing on my tweet being like, whoa, like, why are you using caps? Like, oh, you have a really loud voice or something. To someone else and then i said hey to him but he didn't say anything back but um yeah other than that i don't he was like uh he was like in all the 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 rom-coms of the early 2000s and 90s man i don't know i don't have anything against him i don't know i feel like feloni is generalizing the thought process process of an entire group before actually hearing them out it seems like a lot of this is happening in the star wars community I could tell you something about a Star Wars community, that's, that's for sure. Um, I watch and I observe from a distance, and I try not to really talk about things anymore. Because it's just, everyone's got a, your, a, their own opinion, and that's fine, but it's to the point where no one can really hear each other out anymore because they're just so adamant on getting their point across, and, and that's the only one that really, they're like the Jedi, like that's the only way, you know? The statement Star Wars is for kids is referring to Star Wars on a mythic and thematic level, which fulfills the societal roles of entering adulthood. Yeah, true. I could understand that. But he's talking about, you know, a seven-year-old watching Star Wars. Like, I was six when I watched Star Wars. And... Uh, <laughs> kind of dark. But, yeah, I can understand that on a thematic sense. The Jedi trusted them and they were betrayed. Never stop with Star Wars? No, I, I love Star Wars. How does a blind man know when to stop wiping? He doesn't. Feeling? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> uh, thanks for the 10 bucks. I don't know. This is all Kathleen Kennedy's fault, I'm telling you. 
I don't know. Again, dude, I've never met Kathleen Kennedy. All I've seen are some uh, interviews with her. And, I mean, how much can you gather from that? But, um, yeah, I don't uh, – I'd be much happier if George were in charge. Uh, uh, Dave Filoni. George is gone. They released posters – of Finn with a lightsaber and then had him use it for five minutes and get destroyed. Should have been a Jedi man. Yeah, I agree. And John Boyega just came out on the uh, on the internet, on Twitter or something like that, talking about how he noticed that his poster for the, what was it, for the, was it for the Force Awakens? Yeah, for the Force Awakens, he was, for the U.S. one, he was like massive. And then for the the one in China, he was like this small, like you could barely even find him. And with everything that's been going on with Black Lives Matter, he's been quite vocal about it, which I'm I'm proud of him. Because that's yeah, it's weird. Like, why would they do that? You know. Theory may I recommend you react to Kenobi by HFP. It's my favorite Star Wars tribute. Uh, maybe. Ray joining the dark side. Thoughts? Yeah, it would be cool. It'd be pretty sweet. You know, like she almost did in Episode Nine, but didn't. Not all fans are sexist, but there are many who are. There was an outrage because the center character in the High Republic was a female. That happens a lot whenever a female lead is announced. Does it? I I don't know. Maybe I just blocked that crap out, you know? Maybe I just... I don't know, man. If someone's a cool character, they're a cool character. I really don't care, again, what's between their legs. It does not matter to me. So... This is my life. Like, I, I'll, I'll make my content, I'll upload it, and I'll just turn away. Like, I used to always, like, scour the internet for what people are saying, with their Twitter, this and that, watch other YouTube videos, YouTube channels. It's been, like, maybe almost a year, six months or so, and I stay away from all of that. I just upload my stuff, and I, I just turn away now. I don't even... There's just so much stuff out there, like, I don't even... I don't want to look at it. It's just not interested. So, um, I don't, you know, sometimes I may be ignorant to what's going on because I don't really spend time to see what's going on with the drama or what people are talking about necessarily. You know, sometimes if I have a moment, yeah, sure. Or I'm a little bit intrigued or curious. Yeah, sure. But otherwise, no, man, like I'm, I'm running five, six channels. I'm, I'm got my fan film I'm trying to do. I got animations that I'm trying to do. I got all the merch that I'm trying to do. So many other things I just... I just try to cut that stuff out and uh, don't even get involved as much as I can, unless it like really is jumping my attention. Like, you know, what was it like a month ago with, with that Twitter stuff? Watch Thor Skywalker. He is the best. I think I've seen one or two of his videos in the past, at least in the last four years or so, but I can't remember what they were about. If we put aside how we feel overall, how do you feel about Anakin's sacrifice compared to Luke's? Do you think they are individually kind of epic in their own way, or do you write off Luke's as a whole? Like Luke's arc, you mean including The Last Jedi? This is how it works for me. Like for me, I don't really consider Luke's uh, arc to be in The Last Jedi. I just I just don't. And, you know, people can be mad at that, but that's, that's me. That's just me. Um, for me, it ended at 6. It really did. I'm cool with that. I'm good with that, you know? And that's just what makes me happy, you know? So, and that's something Sam Witwer said too, is that, you know, people can choose, pick and choose what they want to believe uh, in terms of the story and the timeline. And for me, it ended at six. I tried for the last four years to really, really be gung-ho about the sequels and, um, you know, really push them a lot. And I did that. Because I wanted to be supportive and positive and, you know, um, not give in to pessimism. But now that it's all said and done and it's over, I don't like the story. And I don't think those things are really true to Star Wars. Which, funny enough, is that I wanted to react to this as well. Um, you said in a recent interview uh -huh. that um, you were planning on developing Star Wars Episode Seven before you sold Lucasfilm. Can you divulge any of the details you were uh, working on? Uh, the ones that I sold to Disney and everything, they came up to the decision that they didn't really want to do those, so they made up their own. So it's so not like it's, it's not the ones that I originally wrote. Yeah. So I mean, 
And that was from 2016, I think, as well, or, or 2018 or something like that. I'm not quite sure, but yeah, I mean, for me, look, man, I, I love that Star Wars is continuing. I love that we're getting more content. Otherwise, Star Wars would be dead, of course. Um, well, if George was still in charge, Star Wars wouldn't be dead. But um, I just love that, you know, still we're getting stuff, but I don't have to like everything, you know, and that's that's the point that I'm trying to make clear here is that I anything with, you know, and that's something else. Where I reacted to uh, this, this is a like controversy on my reaction to Star Wars Squadrons is <laughs> on my gaming channel. It's, you know, people are mad that I'm not like overly excited about it. And it's like, dude, I have the right to be excited or not. Sub Wait, why the hell am I not subscribed to my own freaking gaming channel? I have the right to be excited or not excited about anything, you know, just because it has Star Wars written on it doesn't mean I have to be over the top you know and that's i think something you know some people are calling me fake fan and this and that it's like dude i'm probably more of a fan than 99 percent of star wars people out there you know and i can say that with a straight face but at the end of the day it's not a, a measuring contest as to who's a bigger star wars fan we all love star wars and we all love it in our own way and that's all that matters and you know <laughs> me not being super excited for something is is my own way like i don't have to bend the knee to anything that has you know star wars slapped on it that's just not me man it's not what i believe in and uh as you get to know me more and more through life and through the channel if i continue the channel is that that's how i roll dude i'm not gonna I'm not gonna be fake um elite hunter Star Wars is a money maker and has millions, if not billions. It has billions of fans, actually. It's got, I think, 1.4 billion fans projected in 20... I think that was calculated in 2017. Why not make a 10th movie that is truly satisfying instead of flip-flopping? Eh, they're done. Okay, serious question. Do you think they are overdoing female character leads? No, I don't think they're overdoing it. I just think they need to make better character leads. That's all. Good day from Australia, Star Wars Theory. Hey, man, good day. I agree with you on the good characters. What did you think when you first heard Palpatine give the unnatural speech in The Rise of Skywalker? I thought it was cool. I thought it was funny, but I also thought it was... It, it took me out of the film a little bit because there are so many memes about it. So that's... It was bittersweet, but it was cool. And, but it, it also, you know, it lent back to the story of Revenge of the Sith, which was nice. I enjoyed that. I would have liked to have seen more of Vader's castle, though. That would have been cool. Hey, Theory, says Catherine. Hey, Catherine. I'm curious, what are your thoughts on Cara Dune? Uh, also, have you noticed the live-action Star Wars female characters mirror each other in looks? Action female Star Wars characters mirror each other. Do they mirror each other? I think Cara Dune's probably my favorite female character in Star Wars. In all of Star Wars. Ah, after... Probably after Leia. But I just think, you know, she's just cool, man. Like, she is badass like she just she looks like she could take anyone down and she acts like it but she still has that 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 soft side to her you know and she's not just this like pure hard exterior who's like trying to force it she is legit and and she's uh very genuine and i think that comes out through the acting of uh gina carano so i think i think her character is brilliant i think she's a really cool character and i can't wait to see more of her Invader episode 2, does May say Mother F? No. Damon says, how many people actually enjoy everything Star Wars? Uh, there are a lot of um, suck-ups. So, especially if you get free stuff, um, people will bend the knee for sure, you know. But, um, yeah. A Disney Plus series on Luke's journey from episode 6 to 7. Oh, dude, that would be amazing. That'd be awesome. That'd be great. That'd be great. Jason is 100 times better than Kylo. Um, yeah, Jason's pretty cool. But I like Kylo. Did everyone hear that? If he continues the channel, what? Yeah, yeah. well, whatever. Um, when are you going to do Spider-Man PS4? We're <laughs> going to do it right after this stream. I just saw this video and I'm like, ah, you know, I'd love to chat with you guys because really the only time I have to live stream with you guys is like, we do rule of two, which the last few days hasn't 
last few weeks hasn't really been, I'd say last four weeks hasn't really been, um, I haven't been able to like connect with you guys like I usually do because we've been reading the script. So it's just my eyes are on the script the whole time. So I'm happy it's over. Um, so yeah, now I can get back to like talking with you all, you know. Are you sure Mace doesn't say mother effer? I'm sure. I'm sure, Dane. Yeah. Maybe in a deleted scene or something. No. I think there's good female characters, and then there's over-feminizing like this. Like what? No, I don't think they're over-feminizing. I think just make some cool characters. You know, Cara Dune's cool. Ahsoka's cool. Mary Jade's cool. Leia's cool. Padme's cool. Padme could have been more tough. I mean, she was tougher in the Clone Wars and in the books than she was in the movies. You know? But it's done. She was supposed to kill Anakin, actually, in Revenge of the Sith. Uh, in, in another scene. Grady Edwards with five bucks. Thank you, man. Keep up the Game of Thrones references. Love Game of Thrones. Me too. But uh, it's not really Game of Thrones. It's Skyrim. Oh, he took an arrow to the knee, I guess. I guess it is Game of Thrones. Yeah, you're true. Did you know why in the books Padme's guards were uh, like her handmaidens were actually trained assassins? Like they're 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 badass, dude. They're pretty cool. Kevin Billa, if Ray's story continued through Disney Plus or movies, do you think she should face the Yuuzhan Vong? Since they would be a new kind of villain, I think that'd be cool. <clears throat> Because the Yuuzhan Vong, they aren't susceptible to the Force, you know. You can't hurt them with the Force. It doesn't work on them. It's like Toydarians with the mind trick, but the whole Force in general. So, um, And they've got these organic machines. Like, they're unstoppable, man. They're a very cool, cool um, species. But they're legends, of course. What do you think of the Rise of Kylo Ren comics, and have you heard about the Charles Soule with the Force podcast episode? No, I have not heard of that podcast episode at all. Um, what do you think of the rise of Kylo Ren comics? The few that I covered were cool. I stopped covering comics because, um, I don't know. I, uh, just not all that interested in the sequels anymore. I don't want to cover it anymore. You know, I want to cover more Vader stuff and stuff like that. But even I'm fine with the Vader stuff, you know, they, they change so many things. Um, and a lot of them are really cool. But at the same time, I don't know, I just... Why do you have a British accent in Harry Potter? That's my buddy Silas, so we go half and half on the channel. So he does all the narrating, and he actually writes most of the scripts too. I just get in there when I have time. But uh, yeah, I'm generally curious if... People are reading too much into the if I continue the channel. Are they? <laughs> Go sub to Theories Arcade. We have a lot of fun. Yeah, we, we do. Yo, what up, Thunder Khajiit? Wie geht's, mein Bruder? I don't think Disney is interested in the sequels anymore. I don't think they were ever interested, really. Just don't listen to Disney canon. Why does he have a British accent in HP Theory? I don't. It's my buddy. He's British. Have you read Alphabet Squadron? If so, what's your opinion on it? Personally, I wish there was more of Hera. I haven't read that much of it at all, actually. But, uh, I should. What's your favorite Star Wars book? Probably Darth Plagueis. You like the Bane trilogy and Revan? That's cool, man. I think, like, the prequels, time will heal wounds with the sequels. Maybe. More fanfics. Yeah, that's definitely something I want to do more of is I just kind of want to stop. Like, I want to continue with the lore and stuff, but I'm really into reading the books and getting tidbits and stuff for you guys from there. I think they're just, it's refreshing, you know? And, let's you know, a lot of people have said, like, it's interesting, you know? If I cover a lot of Vader stuff, people will be like, oh, we'll cover more of the sequels. Cover a lot of sequel stuff. People will be like, stop covering the sequels. Go to the prequels or originals. You cover a lot of Anakin, and people are like, oh, all you do is cover Anakin. So it's like you can never really win, right? It's just kind of like, 
Uh, all right, dude. So what I've always done with the channel pretty much is just done what I want to do. And right now I'm really feeling just covering stuff from the books because I think they're cool, like prequels books. So the next book that we're going to cover is the Darth Bane novels. Um, and we are also going to cover uh, Shatterpoint, which is about Mace Windu between uh, episode two and three, which is pretty sweet. Did you know that Mace actually really regretted? Well, he didn't regret, but he thought a lot on the fact that uh, he didn't kill Dooku on Genosis. You know, when he had the lightsaber to Jango's throat. So that's something he was really thinking about. Love the fanfix. Please do more. Can't get enough. Okay, for sure, man. What's up, man? Would you have preferred a trilogy surrounding Ahsoka? She works with Luke and the New Republic to establish a new Jedi order. I would love that. I think that would be so awesome. Hey, Theory, you've been a big fan of your channel for many years. You're awesome. Anyways, are you excited for the new Lego? Yeah. 100% I'm excited for the Lego Star Wars. Are you kidding me? 100%, dude. What's this? Interesting. I should go to text message from Mark. Um, dude, I really miss these these live streams that I had with you guys. You know, I've distanced myself a lot from the channel lately over the last probably seven months or so um, for many reasons. There, are, I hate being vague. I hate those people who are vague and dramatic and they're just like, oh, yeah, there's something going on. I don't want to talk about it. It's like, yeah, there's some things in the background that have happened and um it it's really just shaken my ability to be silent about it like i just don't want to be silent about it anymore but there are other people's careers and stuff on the line if i talk about it so i just haven't and you're probably like what the f what are you talking about dude anyways um but if you see like if there's a if i'm a little bit not really the way i always used to be it's there's a reason for that right that and like, you know, you get to a point where you just get enough, uh, enough backlash and stuff and hate from haters and trolls. And sometimes you're just like, ah, dude, like, I don't need this, you know, what's up, man? Would you have preferred a trilogy surrounding? Yes, I would have. Um, biggest problem with the new trilogy was it wasn't really about the Skywalkers. They were just there. Should have been more about Skywalker children. Yeah. So if they made it like Ray, a Star Wars story, that would make sense. But it wasn't really about the Skywalker saga for me, right? Um, thoughts on Squadrons? Go watch my uh, Squadrons trailer reaction. <laughs> um, once again, it's just, uh, it's fine, but I'm not over the moon about it. I'm not, like, going crazy over it, you know? Am I going to get Squadrons? Yeah, I'll get it for sure. Um, it'll be fun to play, but it's not going to be something that's going to be like, you know, Fallen Order, which was super cool. Yo, thank you, Angel. Appreciate it, buddy. When is Vader episode two coming out? Well, that's a video I've been wanting to make for months now. And then of course COVID happened. And so, you know, I've been saying this for, for months uh, that I got to make, you know, I announced it in February and then COVID happened like a month after that. And I'm like, oh no, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. And then everything really shut down in like April and May. And I'm like, man. Um, so of course it's delayed for sure. Um, I'll have to make a video talking about it, but it's just, it's, yeah, it's not looking good. I mean, it'll eventually happen one day, but it's not looking good, bro. Like, do you think EA will do better with Star Wars Next Gen? I don't know. Please keep doing the book bits. If the haters be you, F the haters and be you. Not being you gets you unsubscribed to, and it will make you want to quit the channel. Uh, no, that's not the reason. Trust me, man, there's something that, like, I learned about that, that regarding the high ups and, uh, and, like, what they think of me and stuff. And it just, not at Lucasfilm, but it just, um, well, I don't know, maybe it's tied there, but, but, um, it's just, 
I don't know, dude. That in conjunction with haters, right? It's just like... I just have so much more fun on my gaming channel now. And it sucks because it's like, you know, I almost get to the point where I'm like, you know what? I'll just leave all my videos up and all that. And uh, I'll just go enjoy Star Wars on my own. <laughs> and that would be it. And I've been seriously mulling it over for a good four months, seriously. But I just, I don't know. Like, I love the channel. It's great. And it's been everything I ever wanted, but at the same time, it's, it's like the bigger you get, the, the, there's more and more bullshit that you have to deal with. And after I learned some stuff the other day, not the other day, but like a few months ago, actually, I've just been kind of torn almost. It's just like, I don't know. You get tired of being seen like the bad guy or whatever, being seen like, uh, someone that you're not and you just don't know why but that's just the way it is i guess and i, I mean i've taken all sorts of uh, abuse ever since i've started the channel just because of how fast it grew and that's not my fault you know it's really not my fault i just made videos i didn't do advertisements i didn't do anything i just um did my best and i enjoyed my content and i grew faster than everyone else and for some reason you know that's that's an okay to be shat on or whatever, you know? So, I don't know. It's whack, dude. There's a lot of whack stuff going on, really shady stuff going on from, like, big companies towards me and, like, people, and it's just, it it definitely messes with you for sure. That's why, you know, a lot of people in the comments are just like, oh, like, why do you seem like you're not enthusiastic anymore? What happened to you? It's like, you eventually get chipped down, bro. You eventually do. It, it's a it's a true thing. I never thought I would, but yeah, you eventually do. It eventually gets to you, especially if you don't talk about it. Hey, greetings from Brazil. Oh, that's cool. I've never been there. What's up, Hugo? One day uh, you could do a Star Wars: The Old Republic gameplay. Yeah, dude, I have it right here. Check it out. Right there. I don't know if you can see my mouse. On the if comments here for you, not a specific IP. We'll follow wherever, man. Star Wars is just something we share. Many other things to share. Respect the grind of production value. Wish you happiness. Thanks, Worthy Sire. Love you, buddy. How do you feel about Anakin's lightsaber becoming Rey's? Isn't creating your own lightsaber a rite of passage for a Jedi? Yeah, so when you create your own lightsaber, it's yours, right? But then again, you know, it was Luke's, and um, I guess if they want to call it Rey's now, you know, whatever. It's fine. I guess. Not in my mind. Like, I'm not going to call it Ray's lightsaber. I'm going to call it Anakin's or Luke's, you know. But whatever. Sending love from WA. Is that Washington? May the force be with you. And if the channel needs mods, as your mods say, I would be honored to help out. I will not fail you. Okay, Wolfsbane. You are a mod. There you go. And also, worthy sire, you are also now a mod. Appreciate you guys. Anyone else want to be mod? <laughs> we all have love for you. Thank you for you. Ah, thank you, Will. Appreciate that. What do you think about Mike Zero? I went to high school with him. And if you could say one thing to Kathleen Kennedy, what would it be? What do I think of Mike Zero? Um, me and him were buddies in the beginning, man. And I got nothing against him. I think he's a nice guy. I think he's very misunderstood by the community. And... Yeah, I miss talking to him, but, you know, once I made my fan film, he just kind of went quiet on me and, like, didn't talk to me for, like, months and stuff. And he'd be like, yo, man, like, what's going on? Um, yeah, so I don't know if he was going through something or whatever, but I took that as, like, kind of an insult. And uh, I removed him off my sidebar thing because it was, like, months of him just, like, ignoring me. And I'm like, all right, whatever, dude. So, uh, yeah, we, like, removed each other off our sidebars and stuff. Uh, as for his content, I don't really watch his videos, so... I don't know. I know a lot of people say he's like clickbait or whatever, but I don't know, bro. Like, I don't. I haven't talked to him in like two years, so. Um, but I think he's a nice person. Also, if you could say one thing to Kathleen Kennedy, what would it be? Um, <laughs> God, I have a lot to say. Um. 
I don't know. I probably wouldn't say anything. I'll just continue on. What's it going to do? Love you, Theory. Nothing beats chilling and watching your videos. Do you think we will see Ahsoka in the Kenobi series? That'd be cool. Be cool to see. Hate to see you leave. What do you think of those UFOs lately? UFOs? We got UFOs? What are you talking about? Let me, see, let me Google this. UFOs. <laughs> what? What is this? UFO videos have... What the hell is this? Oh, the ones that look like TIE Fighters? <laughs> I'm not surprised, dude. I, we're not the only ones in this universe. Uh, could always make me a mod on this channel, too, lol. Oh, yeah, 100%. Iroids, your mod. Boom. Uh, what do you think? Why do you think you have more fun on the gaming channel rather than here? Just wondering. I used to have the most fun on this channel. That was like this channel was like my number one. I love sitting down, talking to you guys, gaming with you guys. The community, the people who I've come to meet you know, at Celebration, at uh, the fan film and everything, like you guys lining up to watch the movie to so that we can meet and everything. Like it was amazing. Like the most positive, kind-hearted souls and uh, people that I've come to call, you know, my friend that I've met uh, because of the channel. Um, but it's just there's just so much negativity that comes with it too, you know. Um, when you're when you've got the biggest Star Wars channel in the world, you know, two and a half million subs, just about. You can imagine how many eyes are on you, and this is something that I was blind to. You know, I was just being very humble, and I'm like, no, no, no. But it, it's true, man. There's you know, <sighs> every month there's millions and mil tens of millions of views on the channel and not everyone's gonna like you and some people are very nasty and so you know eventually i i was it december 26th i got um some photos of my fiance sent to me with like a red x through it and uh they were like oh yeah like we're planning an attack on you like blah 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 we're gonna find you we're gonna find her we're trying to figure out where you live we're gonna send you some stuff little presents um blah 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 things like that and I'm a pretty protective dude. I'm a pretty violent dude when it when I need to be. Um, that's a side of me that a lot of you don't know. I, I trained in martial arts my whole life, um, and then powerlifting and in strongman. And um, there's a very animalistic side to me when there needs to be. And when people say things like that over the internet, it's like I don't take those as jokes. So it's like I don't really know what to do, and it definitely affects me. You know, so it's like I just get so furious and um, and it's all perpetuated hate. And it was all because I liked episode nine. And it's like, dude, I don't even really like episode nine all that much. Like, you know, <laughs> uh, so there's so many things. Um, and every day, you know, I see things from other Star Wars channels and just talking shit and I'm so over it and I've, I've taken the high road for so many years I've ignored it I've just made my content done my own thing but I'm getting to the point where like I don't know if I'm getting petty or bitter or whatever it is but I'm just I'm I'm tired of it dude like I'm tired of this shit like I don't need it you know so it's like now I just find like when I go to my gaming channel like no one's gonna say anything I'm just playing a video game and I'm hanging out with the community and it's beautiful it's great it almost feels like this old channel, you know, this, this channel back in the old day. And it's a great thing. And combine that with, you know, like big companies and stuff. Doing some whack things that I swear if I made a video on this stuff, like the whole internet, like you thought the fan film thing was like an ordeal. Like this is some, this is some effed up weird stuff, shady stuff. Um, and it just kind of shows you how they treat people, right? But again, I'm not going to go into it because I don't want drama to happen. I don't want people to go crazy. And it's just, I just want to continue making my videos. And, <laughs> and that's it, dude. Like, I don't, I don't need any more drama, right? I've had enough of that on the channel. And, and every time you do, you're always the bad guy, right? You know, with the, with the, with the, with the with the claim on the fan film it's like oh you're whining because you like make something with their ip it's like that's not even the point dude like 
point was that some other company went in there manually altered the system and and freaking claimed something that wasn't supposed to be claimed and now they're making money off it when i tell my fans that i'm not making money off it so when they watch it and they're going to see that there's a commercial on it they know that i'm making money on something that i promised them will be free so how's that going to look on me so obviously i'm going to have to make a video about it so that's what i did but of course you get called like a whiner or whatever and then there you know the other thing with with uh that guy on twitter a month ago or whatever it was three weeks ago it's like it's like oh you should have more responsibility like oh you have a big following you know he's gonna get attacked by people on the internet it's like dude no if that guy puts my name on blast on the internet like i'm gonna talk about it too you know so that's that's the thing is uh, it's always turned around on you and i'm, I'm tired of that I'm tired of that stuff so um yeah anyways uh it's just a lot of stuff in the background that i that's why i just now kind of make videos and i don't really engage with the community as much I just do my own thing <sighs> yo what up shade mod time baby time for you to be mod too Jeez, how long was I talking for? You guys sent like 5 million super chests. Thanks. So yeah, Iroids, that, that's the answer to your question. <laughs> Grand Admiral Thrawn, thank you, dude. Oh yeah, I'm getting some new emojis for you guys. Uh, I paid an artist uh, on Fiverr to uh, make some cool stuff. Theory, how's it going? What up, Shade, my man? Uh, we'll be streaming soon, dude. Probably in like 15 minutes or so. Sent one ALR, but I'll be a mod. May the force be with you. What? Sent one ALR? What is an ALR? Aiden Cook says, I know you're feeling, man. Uh, we all know you're a great guy. Thanks for the endless hours of fun and content. Thanks, dude. That's very generous of you, dude. 20 bucks. Thank you, Aiden. You're a super cool guy, bro. Keep up the good work. Much love. Thanks, ZH. Shade. What up? I hope you get all this stuff off your chest. Let it out. I probably never will, dude. I'm just going to continue on my path and uh, do my stuff. But somehow this video turned into, like, just chatting with you guys. And I think it's because I haven't done it in a long time. A long time. And it's just, like, me venting or, or no, it's just it's just um, me, like, reacting to something or whatever. And then I end the stream. But it's, like, this is the real truth of it, man. Like, the highlight of this channel for me was probably like 2017, 2018. Then after that, things just kind of, you know, even 2019, you know, it was cool. But 2020 has just been shitty. It's been a shitty year. You're our last hope, Theory. Don't give up. Thanks, man. Thanks, Will. The Force is strong with you, Theory. Never stop. Love the channel. Thanks for the entertainment. What sort of Star Wars show would you like to see in the future? Ah, Luke between 6 and 7 would be cool. I appreciate that super chat, man. Hey, man, as a creator, musician, I get why you feel burnt out or underappreciated. Just remember, we all appreciate you immensely. Thanks, Joe. I'm not burnt out. Dude, I started another channel called Fast Facts. Um, been having tons of fun with that. It's great, you know? Just, like, making little fact videos about, like, other stuff. Um, I did, like, a $200 giveaway. And just, like, the sky's the limit with this channel. And it's 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 refreshing. It's fun. It's cool. You know, I got my Cobra Kai channel. Um, I got my Harry Potter channel, which, like, me and my buddy Silas, killing it on there. We're almost at 100K subs. So if you guys want to subscribe right now, I know there's 1,200 of you. I don't know how many will see this afterwards. But if you want to go sub, you know, be under that, that 100K number. That'd be cool. And then, of course, you know, I, I got Marvel Theory, which I'm not too active on anymore. But um, then we got Theories Arcade, which is, like, my love, dude. I love this channel. It's amazing. I, I spend hours on it every day and just hanging with you guys. So it's it's really great. It's um, it's it's a good place to unwind for me and for a lot of people I know for sure. So, John says, "Ever think of getting a gun for protection? No Second Amendment in Canada, but you invest to protect what's yours. Wish nothing but the best for you." Right? Yeah, we don't. Yeah, we don't. We in Canada, you can't have guns um but also it's like i don't think i need one um i would probably just i i don't think it's yeah i don't think i need one i mean i live right 
close to a police station anyways but i mean at the same time it's always good for protection at home but then you know who gets a hold of it in the house if i have kids or something it's like you know hear these stories and i don't know dude it's i've definitely i'm on the, i'm on i'm a fence sitter when it comes to that for sure i don't really know where i lie um but yeah thanks john thanks for the super chat man what would you say to ryan johnson if you met him and do you think you can <laughs> what do you think you could beat him in a fight what the hell i wouldn't why would i fight him um what would i say to ryan johnson i wouldn't say anything because i would have too much to say um i'd probably just say hi that's it you know i don't think he's a bad person once again but you know he, he obviously completely effed up uh something I, I really love um you good man much blo brother much love brother screw the haters thanks shade appreciate you buddy already oh alr character limit oh oh shit yeah there's a character limit isn't there right sure the streaks you want to be mod too man sure man uh there you go man thank you i love you man you're one of the reasons i fell back in love with star wars also i can be a mod if you want i won't let you down sure joe you can be a mod too. But if you abuse that power, then I shall remove it. Yeah, I mean, if, if someone's just like saying some cuss words or something like that, you, you know, you just... Um, Star Wars Nerd 22, I gotta make you a mod as well. There we go. I don't comment very often, but I watch every stream and have watched almost every video I love to consider myself as part of this family. Thank you, Grand Admiral Thrawn. I appreciate that, man. You are part of the family. I think all of you who are so positive and kind here are definitely part of this family and part of the reason why I do this. You know. And for those who want to say, like, oh, it's money, it's like, there are other ways to make money, man. Like, I can, you know, put all the time that I, I and all the resources I put into star wars theory i can put it into my other channels and i can you know make money on there but i genuinely love my star wars channel you know it's it's my passion but sometimes things change that you know yosh says fight the pain thanks yosh what do you think of world-class bs they come across as a really negative pissed off group of people i love you man christ loves you rom 623 thanks grady i don't know um I don't watch his videos. I met him once at Star Wars Celebration. He's a huge dude. He's, he kind of looks like The Rock. Um, but other than that, I don't know. I'm, I don't... I couldn't say. What music is used for Legends videos? I love it. What music is used for my Legends videos? Oh, uh, it's a composer. So, Jacob Cadmus. Brilliant composer. And he makes all my music. So, I, I pay him for each track. Jedi Slayer with a hundred bucks, dude. What? That's so nice of you, man. The dark side is strong with you. Thank you, Jedi Slayer. That's cool of you, dude. Uh, I don't know what to say. I'll say this for you. Here you go. <laughs> you are on this council, but we do not grant you the rank of master. Well, I grant you like rank of master. Thank you. You rock, man. Been going hard with the channels. Yeah, they're fun, but I mean, I mean, you know, I'm a content creator at the end of the day, so it's like, what else am I gonna do with my life, right? This is, this is what I do. This is me. This is my thing. You're good, man. People, people like to be toxic just because they aren't happy with themselves. Make them feel better to bring you down. More fans than haters here. That's that's true. Yeah. Thanks, Caden. Love your vids and passion. I'll be a mod. We got enough mods now. We got we got to hold off on the mods for a little bit. Um, until we need some more, maybe tomorrow. You should increase the donation cap on the gaming channel if you can, or is it based on subscribers? What do you mean the donation cap, Iroyce? There's no donation cap. Is there? I don't think there is. I don't think there is such a thing exists. I once got a $500 super chat, so I don't think there's a cap. Hey, Theory, can I be a mod as well? We're, we're going to chill on the mods, Will. We're going to chill on the mods. Um, if I'm, <laughs> I'm mod if you want, your vids <laughs> got me through COVID. Dude, COVID still happened. Apparently COVID is pretty crazy in the States. Uh, is that true? It's like blown up even more now. But, uh, in Canada, at least, you know, British Columbia, it's pretty chill. It's a lot better. 
That's for sure. That's for sure. There's more of us than there are of them. Yeah, for sure, man. Okay, guys, I think we had a good talk. Uh, I did not intend for it to turn into this, but once again, that's more the magic of this channel, really. It always does that. Uh, I'm going to go on the gaming channel now. I'm going to create a uh, live stream. Oh, for those of you on the gaming channel, I guess I'll just say it here because I know a lot of you are watching this right now. Um, I bought The Last of Us 2, which comes out in a couple of days because you asked me to, and also Uncharted 4 which I never played. So now that we're streaming console stuff too, um, might as well, right? A couple last soups before we end. It doesn't let me do more than $100 on the gaming. 500 is the max on this one though. There's a max? What the hell is that? Well, I'm going to have to change that. I wouldn't imagine anyone would donate more than 500 bucks, so that's crazy. But you never know. There's some really rich people out there. It's worse because of the riots. Yeah, probably. Hey man, saw a video on TikTok about you. Keep up the amazing content and keep being great. Sorry if this isn't a lot of money. <laughs> I'm on TikTok, a video about me. Oh, well, whatever. Hopefully it's a nice one. I hear you, Theory. A lot of people like to hate and go off on their own opinions and don't look at your actual point of view. We all love you and your videos and we'll support you no matter what. Thanks, Keston. All right, guys, uh, I'm going to go on the gaming channel. I love you all. Thank you for chilling with me. And uh, I had a really nice talk with you. Haven't talked with you guys in many months, you know, like a, a nice video like this. So see you in tomorrow's video i got a cool one for you and it can actually destroys an entire structure uh with the force and he didn't mean to but it's it's a cool video it happens with him when he's fighting dooku um before episode three so make sure you tune into that and uh justin uh or just adrian thank you love your videos thank you man appreciate that and uh catch you guys later